From data recording film files of its scientists and engineers, the Ordnance Corps invites you to review some of the solid achievements which help make the United States Army the keystone of free world defense. Although not of the grist from which great news stories are ground, support type materiel, exemplified by the T-116 lightweight low ground pressure vehicle, represent far more reliable indexes for comparing strengths of the free world's military forces than are often gained by inconclusive references to the destructiveness of nuclear missiles. Shown here, operating in the desert sands of Arizona, this transporter of either cargo or personnel is proving its unfailing ability to maintain the front line of defense at the ready. Likewise, the aptly named Goer demonstrates its ability to move anywhere with loads of 15 tons dry or 5,000 gallons liquid. Bodies of water become mere inconveniences since floatability is one of the six interrelated, compatible and mutually reinforcing design features. Looking at some of the new in weapons concepts, the Ordnance Corps has recognized and paid heed to the premise that most military engagements of the future may be limited to avoid mutual annihilation. The 8-inch self-propelled howitzer T-236 epitomizes the artillery of our era scaled down to less than intercontinental warfare. Paired of encumbering weight and air transportable, the T-236 demonstrates its nimbleness in the age-old setting for battle, mud. Previously unheard of, versatility is demanded from even the traditional juggernaut of combat. Operating in saltwater surf, the newest M60 main battle tank adds new scope to its employment. No longer must a beachhead be considered dry land. Vulcan himself might well have christened his namesake the 20 millimeter multi-barreled aircraft gun technically referred to as the M61. Here an M41 tank is the target of a lethality test in one of many unique applications of the Vulcan. The high position for artillery emplacement has long been one of the field commander's most satisfying deployments for battle. The 2.75-inch free flight aircraft rocket, nicknamed the Mighty Mouse, shown in mock attack from a helicopter, provides almost unlimited possibilities for suppressive barrage from any quarter. Search and research, continual and exhaustive, is nowhere better shown than by these scenes from an Ordnance Corps test at Aberdeen Proving Ground, where a Davy Crockett missile firing is receiving the so-called soft recovery treatment. Necessity for examining an undamaged projectile after it has been fired prompted a technique of gently dropping the warhead into water at the end of the trajectory and then recovery by a team of divers especially trained for such work. Attesting the vigorous approach to missile development, the Sergeant, a surface-to-surface -surface guided missile, promises marked improvements in deployment, mobility, reliability, and accuracy over its predecessor, the Corporal. This weapon approaches an ease of employment associated with conventional artillery. Such, too, is the employment concept pursued in the development of surface-to-surface -surface Pershing, successor to the famous Redstone. So easy to transport on ground or by air, so quickly fired from an unprepared site, this missile is ideally adaptable to the type of warfare slangishly referred to as shoot and scoot. A corporal is readied for the demonstration of anti-missile missile tracking and destruction.
first to the countdown. And now the firing. Nike Hercules is prepared to intercept the corporal missile in a maneuver of a different nature. Again the countdown, and here's the firing. This land-based combat-ready weapon is a part of our active air defense system capable of acquiring, tracking, and engaging supersonic bombers and air-breathing missiles. Swift and sure, this fleet defender plays a vital role in our pattern of protection. Still another missile from our ever-expanding arsenal. This one is the Honest John, representative of the low-flying aggressor class of weapons. For every offense, there must be a defense. For dealing with such a marauder, the Army's Hawk demonstrates its almost uncanny ability to attack and kill. Finally, one of the most ambitious projects of all, and the only one of its kind in the free world, is the Army's development of an anti-missile missile, the Nike Zeus. Hurled from underground emplacements, its nuclear warhead, supersonic speed, and command guidance system lend promise that the Nike Zeus will be the answer to the question of defense against the ICBM threat. These are some of the efforts, continuing or already achieved, that are gratifying to us who are a part of Ordnance for Defense.